In this video, we will discuss four syndromes, Raymond syndrome, millard gubblert syndrome, Weill syndrome, and Gardinigo syndrome. In the three of these syndromes, the Raymond Millard Kepler and Fowell syndrome, there is a lesion in the abducens nerve which is in the pons. Whereas the fourth syndrome, the Gardinigo syndrome lesion of the sixth cranial nerve is at the peripheral site. So what are Raymond Millard Kepler and Fowell syndrome? Common to Raymond Millard Kepler and Fowell syndrome is a lesion of the sixth cranial nerve and contralateral hemiparesis or hemiplegia. What's the importance of abducens palsy? A unilateral or bilateral abducens palsy is a classical sign of increased intracranial pressure and is confirmed with papilledema and other neurological signs. Abducens palsy also occurs in decreased intracranial pressure due to herniation of the brain stem as occur after lumbar puncture, CSF leak or after spinal anesthesia. What's the difference in a abducens nucleus lesion and its fascicular lesion? A lesion of the fascicle causes ipsilateral gaze palsy due to paralysis of the lateral rectus muscle. A lesion of the abducens nucleus causes complete horizontal palsy. It causes paralysis of the lateral rectus muscle ipsilaterally and medial rectus muscle on the opposite side because it is connected to the medial rectus component of the oculomotor nucleus via medial longitudinal fasciculus. Horizontal gaze palsy causes diplopia which is more on looking to the side of the lesion. And the next clinical feature of these syndromes is a hemiparesis or hemiplegia. There is contralateral hemiparesis or hemiplegia due to involvement of the descending corticospinal or pyramidal tract causing upper motor neuron type of lesion. This is a contralateral side of the body having spastic paresis or contralateral hemiparesis of the whole body. It causes spastic weakness, hypertonia, hyperreflexia and a positive Babinski. In Raymond syndrome there is abducens palsy and contralateral hemiparesis. This is the abducens nerve and corticospinal tract lesion in Raymond syndrome. In miller gubbler syndrome in addition to abducens nerve palsy and contralateral hemiparesis there is ipsilateral lower motor neuron type facial nerve paralysis. This lesion involves both the nerve 6 and 7 nerve along with the corticospinal tract. So the facial nerve lesion causes weakness, flaccid paralysis of the half of the face, loss of taste on the anterior two-third of the tongue, posterior one-third taste of the tongue is by ninth glossopharyngeal nerve. There is sagging of the lower eyelid due to paralysis of the orbicularis oculi. Drooping of the lips, there is dribbling of the saliva due to paralysis of orbicularis oris muscle. A loss of nasolabial fold and patient is unable to whistle. Loss of lacrimation and salivation. Loss of corneal reflex, a brink reflex because it forms the efferent limb of the reflex. Facial paralysis causes stapedial paralysis. Why? Because it supplies the stapedius muscle in the inner ear and a paralysis of stapedius causes hyperacusis. In Fovail syndrome, there is abducens palsy and contralateral hemiparesis. So what's the difference in abducens lesion in Fovail syndrome from Raymond and Millard Gubbler syndrome? In Raymond and Millard Gubbler syndrome, the lesion is in the abducens nerve or its fascicle. So lateral rectus muscle of the ipsilateral eye is paralyzed. In Fawile syndrome, the lesion is in the parapontine reticular formation area. A lesion in the parapontine reticular formation causes complete horizontal gaze palsy. So a parapontine lesion causes complete gaze palsy because it controls the abducens nucleus which supplies the lateral rectus on the ipsilateral side and to the medial rectus components of the oculomotor nerve nucleus on the opposite side via medial longitudinal fasciculus. So a lesion here causes loss of abduction in the ipsilateral eye and a loss of adduction in the contralateral eye. Convergence will be normal because it is controlled by the frontal eye field area A. The fourth syndrome, Gardinigo syndrome of the sixth cranial nerve is a peripheral lesion of the abducen nerve in the petrous apex in mastoiditis. So it causes pain, deafness and abducen palsy. So deafness and a paralysis of the lateral rectus muscle in Gardinigo syndrome, a peripheral lesion.